What is the deal with all of those people who make it look so effortless? Running is hard, but there are also some specific reasons why right now you might be feeling like it's even harder than normal. So let's chat. Running coach and author Amanda Brooks of Run to the Finish here. Let's chat about what is making your runs feel so hard. If you are a new runner, then we're talking about the fact that your body has to get used to it. You probably need to slow down. Almost always you're running too fast. But for those of you who have been running a while and you're hitting a patch where everything is just not feeling good, there are some things to look at. One is to make sure that it's not just a bad day. We all have bad runs, but if you're on like weeks now of it not feeling good, I first need you to be very honest with yourself about are you overtraining? So have you increased your mileage too much? Have you increased your intensity too much? Are you skipping your rest days? Once you can truly answer that, sometimes the answer is that you need some rest days or you need a true cutback week. We often forget as runners, we just want to keep pushing and hitting that next milestone, but you make progress in the recovery. So during training, you are actually breaking your body down. That's the goal of training. If you do not take the time to rest, then all you are doing is breaking down. It's during the rest where your body actually shoots back up and you gain fitness. If it's not overtraining, one, stress. Life stress plays a massive, massive role in our running. We do not like to think that the two are correlated because we want to run out the stress, but that is not how it works. When you are stressed out, your cortisol levels go up and your entire body feels it. It probably means that some other things are off in your life too. Hydration, sleep, nutrition, all things we're also gonna talk about. So if you are feeling super stressed in your life and at the moment your runs are not feeling good, it's often a really good time to just take the intensity back. Go for a walk, chill out, Get on a trail so that you can just walk or hike and be in nature. Know that it will pass, but know that if you are feeling run down and you just keep pushing and pushing and pushing, the result is probably going to be either an injury or getting sick or being completely burned out and then you're not running at all. Okay, if you're enjoying these tips or you have questions, hit like below, always let me know how I can help. Next on our list, under fueling. This is extremely common, especially in female athletes. So often we start running with a focus on weight loss, which is fine if that's your goal, but you have to know that as a distance runner, you have very different nutritional needs than your friend who is going to a couple of workout classes a week. Your body requires fuel. If you are not giving it enough fuel, that cortisol that we just talked about, increases. So then your body actually starts to hold on to fat. It makes your runs feel worse. You keep eating less, the cortisol keeps going higher and your weight keeps going with it. So starting to eat more can actually reverse that trend. Think in terms of both calories and nutrients. So great that you're eating enough food, but are you getting in colorful fruits and vegetables? and especially for female athletes, enough protein. So we know that that protein is really, really key to your muscles being able to build back stronger. Next up, sleep. You just, you gotta find a way to make it a priority. It's gonna make your runs feel worse. But then also, have you added new things to your training? So maybe you just started a new strength training program it could take a month, maybe even two, for your body to fully adapt to the fact that you are really stressing those muscles in a new way while still trying to ask them to do what they have done before. So again, maybe that's a time where you slow down the majority of your miles because you're building in a different area. I hope this gave you some ideas of things you can look at, ways you can start to figure out why am I having some tough runs. If you're still having questions, drop them below and we'll see if I can help.